Listen. Oh, well, 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 well. What do we have here? It's a damn shame. Here it is for 400 plus years, so-called black people, you've been getting your backs whipped, your ass kicked, plunges up your ass, hit with 41 shots, putting choke holes, knees on your neck. I can't breathe. Stop lying, nigga, you're still talking. I can't breathe. Okay, hurry up and die, I ain't got all day. Yeah, that's just how it go down. And what we do, we get a bunch of signs, banners, flyers, bullhorns, and other bullshit. Then we get to marching. No justice, no peace, black lives matter. And what happens? The system drags along slowly, slow like molasses, and expects us to be calm. I'll tell you in a minute, be patient. It's a process, justice will prevail. Yo, this nonsense has gone on for centuries with black people. The ass whipping, the choking, the shooting, you name it. But whoa, lo and behold, <laughs> When the Asian community starts to get their heads knocked off and attacked by people because of the coronavirus, things move expediently. Now, peak game on this. A bill was introduced to Congress on March 20th, 2021 by Senator Mazzy K. Hirono. Keep in mind, this is March 20th. Now, President Biden signed the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act into law on May 20th, 2021. I want you to follow that. I would, you, just, you, gotta, you gotta understand, on that day, if you thought you was woke, you got a rude awakening. You got slapped in the damn face. That goes for the grass, grassroots community, for the dropouts to the top of the class, magna cum laude, for the goons to the coons, from the broke to the woke, from the bougie, all the way down to the down home folk trust. You woke up, they told you that black lives don't matter. Why? Because this bill became law in three months. That's three short months. And in 300 years worth of black lives getting trampled on and thrown in the trash, you're told, be patient, it's a process. Justice will prevail. Yeah, and in three months, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Egg Fu Young, Miss Kim in the nail salon, and all of them got immediate federal law protection from the government through the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act. Now, if you don't recognize what the most lethal virus is, that's been wiping us out, then I guess you've been induced and numbed up with the antibodies of ignorance and your booster shots of ignore it. Ignore it, just ignore it, just ignore it. You'll never get it, you ain't gonna never get it. This is why some of us do say, we come a long way, man. The white man ain't do nothing to me, it's my own people that be doing stuff to me. This is why we don't have any love or respect for one another. This is why we kill one another with the quickness. We're psychologically sick. We've been infected with the worst virus of all. And the different variants of this virus gets worse and worse. You better wake up and gather yourselves together, old nation not desired. While you're out there shaking in your boots about COVID, your dumb ass don't forgot about the other virus that's been whooping your ass forever. We turn on people to wake the hell up, man. The white man is not your friend. Never has been and never will be. He's the devil that the Bible speaks about. He is the damn great Satan that the Quran speaks about. He is the pale folk tongue that the Native Americans spoke about. He is the one to bring havoc, the great white nice. dragon that the Chinaman spoke about. That's who the so-called white man is. Look all over this earth and look at one culture that loves him. You can't find one culture. Not one. Not one. <laughs> the East Indian culture said that he is the one that Vishnu and Shiva spoke about. The one to terrorize our land. Look it up! That's our people's problem. And that's everybody's problem on this earth. They done fooled you and duped you to make them think that what? They are the number one man, woman, and child on this planet. How could, they be my, how could you be minority and they majority? When you damn white people only make up 2% of the population of the planet Earth. Just 2%, those are facts, brother. How can we know that's not fact? And they ask you this, brother. Is China a colored people? Yes, they're melanated people. You understand? Go all Asia and Asia Minor, those are melanated people. When you come to North, Central, and South America, it's melanated people. Where'd the white man come from? Huh? Out the gaze of Europe. 
He's the only man on the planet that is not melanated. So who's the goddamn minority? The white man is. But it's niggas like us, our people walking around, white man is okay. White man's cool. Then when you see us talk about the white man, them Israelites are crazy. Them Israelites, hey, we, we, we love you, Israel. The most I told us to come to you and make your ass repent. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1, man, and read that with a loud voice. Why are they yelling? Because God said to yell at your simple ass. We ain't, you want to hear some whispers? Go to church tomorrow. And they'll whisper all day and shake a pot in your goddamn face. Read what you got. Come on. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Come on. Cry aloud. No, the Lord said whisper. Cry aloud. No, the Lord said talk low to them. Cry aloud. He said cry aloud and do what? Spare not. Spare not. So if your feelings get hurt, y'all gotta take that up with God. Read your Bible. Read your Bible and say, why did he talk about me because I got a tight skirt on? Why he talk about me because I got my pants up my vagina? Why that nigga talk about me because I'm spoken and I'm gangbanging? Cause God said so. You take that step for God, man. Read, man. Come on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. He said, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Read, come on. And show my people their transgressions. We're supposed to show you your transgressions, man. Read. In the house of Jacob, their sins. We got to show you your sins, thus saith the Lord, whether you like it or not. That's not our problem, man. We don't like what the Lord told us. We was doing some of the same wretched things that our people is doing. And to come out of those things, it takes a lot, man. That's called repenting, man. Coming from the Greek word metanoia, repent, which means radical change. You got to change and come back onto the most high. This world is yours, whether you want it or not. You walk up and down with your tight ass jeans. Niggas jeans tighter than your woman. Mm. What kind of manhood is that? What do you get? You'll bang on another man, put a razor out, that look just like you and slice his damn face open. Why? Because you rep this block, he rep that block. But the white man rep your country, nigga. He done took your country. Took your land. Your culture, your nationality. So where's your razor blade across his face? Huh? You niggas is cowards. You cowards and you come up here, we gonna punish your ass by the permission of the Heavenly Father. Until you wake back up and then you chase and punish your real enemy. Of the so-called white man, woman, and child, man. The damn devil that the Bible speaks about. Understand that. You got to, you, our job is to tell you that you the devil, you old raggedy ass monkey. And if you want a banana, come up here and we'll feed your ass. Oh zoo ass creatures. Let you know how we feel. Cause that's the truth. Too much respect for this white man. Y'all got too much respect for your weak ass men. Weak ass women. Y'all got too much goddamn respect for the white man. White man look you in the eye, you still got that old slave syndrome you put your head down. White man tell you, what are you doing here? You explain everything to him like he's your goddamn mother. Well, I was just waiting for my friends and my friend said this. Tell him none of his business. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing nothing wrong, but you ain't got the heart to do that. Let another black man ask you a question, you ready to curse him out. Let a Hispanic brother ask another Hispanic brother. Hey, well, what did he bro? Yeah, that nigga Dominican, he's stupid. Man, you niggas got to wake the hell up, man. You all the same people from the nation of Israel. There are 12 mighty children, 12 tribes that the Heavenly Father set up and ordained for you to take back over this goddamn planet. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And you give me Deuteronomy 10 and 15. Read that, man, with a loud voice. The Ambassadors. Two minutes. It's about that jab, about that mark. Ah. It's like this, yo, listen, yo. The mark of the peace sock, fuck the European. Pyramid tip top to all I see. Niggas done flip flop, that's all I'm seeing. Secret handshakes, the bitches all agreeing. With the nanotech, the devil wanna jab me. But the deeper threat is the brother who stabbed me. Deep in my back, moving so crafty. Hold my sack and let the shit pass me. What a damn shame. Tiss, tiss, tiss. Behold the damn name. Six, six, six. Shaitan, fix your aim. All your arrows miss. I bring the holy smoke with gorillas in the mist. Moonwalk on the sun with gold rubber sandals. Kick you in the stomach, make you shit a little candle. See these ashy knuckles. Believe I'm nice with them. Fuck your fucking eyes out. And I play dice with them, pick them up Find a wall and I write with them Ancient hieroglyphs, only God can't decipher them Please watch your daughters, don't be polite with them The white man's a devil, nigga, yeah, that's my mantra On another level, I'm here to conquer Smack Donald Trump and a piss on Ivanka Biden and Camilla, they part of the monster 
Every word I speak, I verbally stomp ya Open up your sword, read the words of my album Book of Revelations, Karagma Trying to get these chips, but not in my right hand Devil wanna jab me, but that ain't my God's plan 25 to life, for being a black man Praying that the Lord bring us back to our homeland Trying to get these chips, but not in my right hand Devil wanna jab me, that ain't in my God's plan 25 to life, uh, for being a black man yo, Praying that the Lord bring us back to our homeland Karakma, stereotype the stigma Caligula, Greco, Roman, trash lords Ask a follower, the birth of Christ was Unite the kingdom, why's it up, we fight for J Trey, foot and financial district A-town, uptown, interact, neighborhoods Objective, resurrected in the king's men Stamp it, leave a mark like King did Vampires strike back, blocks 52, be more precise, big stocks Move with the chief or straight from up north Over the hills, carry the golden torch Flame on, rise up my nation Flame on, burn on, vet, I will saw Munch your ice and revolution live long 1804, Maccabees too strong Karagma, you getting conquered Kid Johnny Apple seed, I roll with big beans Peacely angels, don't mess with me Cause everywhere I go, that's on me 18 elite rescue line 613 my people keep the plot Trying to get these chips But not in my right hand Devil wanna jab me But that ain't my God's plan 25 to life for being a black man Praying that the Lord bring us back to our homeland Trying to get these chips But not in my right hand Devil wanna jab me That ain't in my God's plan 25 to life for being a black man Praying that the Lord bring us back to our homeland Don't wanna hear None of your dogma None of your doctrine. Trust, you can get pop, son. Let's do the work. Listen. Love yourself. You don't love yourself. He hates himself. I'm gonna tell you why. Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality, bro? Don't worry about that. Don't answer. Don't worry yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Black American. Black American? Yeah. I ain't no black black American. You see the hoodie you got on? Right. See the no clothes we got on? That's black. Black is a color. Alright? That's the first thing. Now, American, who's American named out? Oh, that been trying to change. It was named out in the name Amerigo Vespucci. Alright? They named America after him because Columbus got caught stealing on his way back. Okay? So the Queen named America after an Italian navigator, Amerigo Vespucci. So for you to be black American, it doesn't make sense. Black is a color, and America's another man's nationality. You wanna try again? Listen, listen. No, no, I'm just saying, bro. Only, only because see, our people are caught in a mind state. Because if you ask, you can get 30 black people or so-called African Americans. Ask them, you'll get 300 different answers. Some will tell you they're getting this. Some will tell you they're Negro. Some will tell you they're black. Some will tell you their denomination. They're Baptist. They're Catholic. You understand? But they don't have a nationality, a national okay, origin. Okay, oh, hold on, brother. Hold on. I, I, I'll deal with you, right? You see, our people are under that only simply because of this. There's two things that happen to our people. One, we are the indigenous people of this land. That's, That's right. first and foremost. That's right. Okay? And that, that, this is something that they don't teach. When you go back, this is when Nat Turner on Turtle Island, when you go beyond that, we are we were here on the shores that they call North America. Then they brought our people, okay, from the land shores of Africa, or another portion of our people. So now we understand we have a national origin. If you ask a so-called man here in China, He'll tell you if he was born here that he's an American citizen, but at the same time he has a national origin that he comes from China. He can tell you the town and city where his people came from. That's one thing that so-called African Americans cannot do. Okay, they stripped us of our national origin. Therefore our culture, therefore our language. You understand? So this is why we're seduced into thinking that everybody's created equal, so forth and so on, where that is not the case. You can go in any so-called religious text and you see that to be different. If you ask where the so-called white man came from, any white man, woman, and child, the first thing they'll do is tell you as a black, ah, oh, they get out of America, go back to Africa. But guess what? They're not indigenous to this land. They came over here from the shores of Europe. And the old people that came over here from the shores of Europe, they were the exiles, those that were put out. They were the convicts the in the crazies. prisons, and those were the people in the crazy houses and in the hospitals that came over here because they, Europeans at the time, thought the earth was flat. So when we 
understand the dichotomy of who we're dealing with, we see that we're dealing with a strange people and they put their strangeness upon our thought process. That's why you have our people cursing each other out like they just did. You understand that, brother? So the question is, we have to ask ourselves, who are we? So if you see us out here as Israelites, they say, well, who are you guys? You guys hate white people. No, we actually love our people. That's right. You understand? So when you understand hate and love, it's a thin line. Why? Because it's actually the same spectrum. Okay? Because if you hate crime, right, and you love goodness, but you, it's the same spectrum. So when you understand what the white man has done, not just to our people, but all across this earth, everywhere that he has put his foot on, every shore, he has, dem he has demolished, raped, robbed, and murdered every culture. That's right. Every culture you can think of. That's right. Now ask the white man, where did he come from? He came out the caves all throughout his history. But that's one piece of history that they're never taught anywhere. Why is that? But the white man actually comes out of the caves. The caves of the Caspian Sea, and the case back later in Europe. Okay, this is why Johan Rubenbrock, he named them what? The Caucasians. Why? Because you came from the Caucasus Mountains of Russia, Georgia. Right. He measured right. your skulls. So you understand that you were cave dwellers. That's your origin. If you go as far as back as the Alexander, Alexander the Greek, that's, go back to that, that time frame. Before that, where's the white man's history? Where's the white man's culture? Where's his language? Where's his land before Alexander? Now, if you go past Alexander, you'll see that black people had land. They had culture. They had language. They had kingdoms and rulerships way before Alexander. But after Alexander, what do you have? I ask any white man, I give you $1,000 if you can prove your structure and your history before Alexander. Where is it? Where's your kingdom? Where's your land? Where's your castles? Before Alexander, name it, you can't because it does not exist. Right. right. Does not exist. So when you understand who we're dealing with, we're dealing with a wretched man. When you hear the word devil, the word devil just means deceiver. Who deceived the entire earth believing that they are better people than all the people on the planet? Who has told the earth that they are superior people? But yet you blacks and Hispanics, yet you damn Chinese, you Japanese, you Arabs, you have all been deemed minorities by the only minority and the minute man on the planet, which is the so-called white man, woman, and child. That's what's the point. The point is this. We are out here teaching the true word of God. And I, I'll show you what the point is this. Here's my point. I'm going to prove it by asking you one question. What's going on there, big chip my shoulder? Do you believe? I'm asking you a question. Do you believe in the Bible, Jesus Christ? No? Oh, that's great. That's your history. Let's give you a hand in. Praise, Praise the Most High. Good. That's what you're supposed to You're not supposed to believe in that. Yeah, that's, that's what got you around. What do you believe in? Huh? Just living. What are you, just living? <laughs> you believe in yourself? Yes, I'm his family, and that's it. But guess what? Hitler believed the same thing, and he murdered a lot of people. Well, I'm not. And I know, you're just like Hitler. That's in your mind frame. The white man's a murderer by nature. It is in your mind to kill and destroy. This is why you have no understanding. Okay, you're a damn beast. The Most High's gonna come in for your head. The Most High's coming for your head. You are doomed. You're doomed. You don't have to be worried because you're dying a slow death. You wanna know how you're dying a slow death? The fact that you have no melanin. The fact that you have no pigment. The fact that your eyes are blue. The fact that everything about you is deceiving and deceiving. You're an inferior man on this planet. You're an inferior. I don't wanna be a praise the most high we're not white. Praise the most high we're not white. The white man is dying a slow death. That's all. This is what you black people don't understand. The white man is dying a slow death right before your eyes. The very boy. air that he breathes is destroying him. Why? Because he is inferior he? based off his biological process of how God made him. God made us. Where's his melanin? Pigmentation of melanin protects you from the sun's rays. It protects you from the cool air. Huh? It protects you from the moonlight. Huh? Think about it. You have receding genes. The hair that comes out of white people's hair is dead hair. It's felt, it's felt to be that comparable to wolf's hair. Huh? You understand? Who our women? Guess what though? Here's the, here's the beauty of that. We can find that in our scriptures. For the most I have punished our women for going against him. But our women, listen, our women, let me tell you something. Your women, 
Right. If you want to get technical and destroy and talk about our women, well, let's talk about your women. Right. If they pull down their pants, every rat and roach will run out the goddamn place because they smell like garbage. How do we know they smell like garbage? Because their body is not compatible. You understand? Their body is not compatible to hold themselves up to beauty. Every white woman got to shave her goddamn legs. Every white woman got to shave her back. Why? Because they grow hair at an alarming year. You're laughing because you done seen that on your daughter. You done seen that on your damn mother and your grandmother. Your damn feast of said the Lord, man. And you're the first people to run to the beach, okay? And nobody can go to the damn seashore because you're on the damn sand tanning like turkeys. Huh? You're the first one that want to tan. You all, you all want to tan, huh? Yeah. Now, 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 now you're quiet because you understand you see the inferiority of your ass. You're an inferior creature. Huh? Get the hell out of here. Listen. Because in the Sudan, this is where they push the real Egyptians. They push the real Egyptians into the Sudanese area. That's number one. And implanted the Turks in Egypt. Number two, we know that when you deal with the Falashis, okay? The Falashi Jews. Understand this. We know that they were the first ones that were touched by the so-called white man. Okay? And the Fulani Jews in Nigeria, the Fulan. We know that they were touched by the white man saying, okay, I'm gonna take this place first and claim this stake of land and move these people out and claim it as my own. Okay? So this is why I ask you that from the people in Sudan because we know what the real Arabs look like. The original Egyptians. And that's what the people in Sudan are. You understand? But the white man who was an Ottoman Turk who went in Egypt and claimed it at his own and said that he's an Egyptian and went and claimed that place and took it for his own. So they do this all over and what they do, they take people out their lands and claim it here and mix everybody up. It's like a game of cards. So nobody knows who the hell they really are. This is why the white man is a master at cartography and map making. Because he takes it and takes stakes of land, I'm gonna take this here and take that here. Once I claim this, I say I was here, I say they're over there. And we all get confused, everybody on this planet Earth. Think about this, because the most highly made Moab and Ammon. Okay, when you see the Japanese and the Chinese, and out of those two people came all influx of different so-called Asiatic people. How does that happen? The white man claimed and said who's gonna be what? How we divide it the way that we are? He said this is what y'all gonna be like and this is what y'all gonna do. Makes no sense. They tell you that Israel is in the Middle East, but there's no such place on any map called the Middle East. It's a man-made name. Go to what they call the Middle East and say, excuse me, I'm looking for a Middle Eastern man. They're gonna look and laugh at you. Why? Because they know exactly where they are on the continent. Where's Israel? But what continent is the nation of Israel? So on the so-called continent of Africa. Okay? So now when you understand that, it's in Northeast Africa. So being that it's on that continent, we get a better understanding through geography. How could the so-called white man, who's a so-called European, from a whole other continent, call himself a Jew? Huh? Connect the dots. Real simple. Real simple. But the white man has mastered the line. He has mastered the game of semantics. When he came over here to the Americas and went after you so-called Spanish, who are native Indians, by the way, what did he do? When y'all beat him, they said, oh my God, it was a massacre. They gave you bad labels. But when they went and shot your women and children up and beat y'all, they said it was a great victory. That's semantics. That's what history does. Get you to believe the victim. And the victim falls down. But our people don't realize this, man. We are the children of Israel. So what you see here is nothing but love. This ain't no damn hate, man. The black, Hispanic, man, woman, and child of Negro and Indian is saying, you're the real Jews that the Bible speaks about. You are the real Jews. And we are out here because we love y'all. We can spend our Saturdays watching cartoons, walking up and down here doing what we want to do. But we out here doing what the most I say. He said, go to the highways and byways and call my people, man. And that's our job, and that's what you see from Hebrew Israelites. So the other stuff you hear, that's just your conditioning to hate yourself. Whenever you hear, oh, y'all a bunch of hate for y'all hate people, that's your conditioning. That's what you think. That's why the white man walk by, yeah, he don't even have to argue with us. Because he see our people arguing with us. He just walk by and laugh, and there are our people hugging him and kissing him. Like this guy right here, stoned out his goddamn mind. Now here's a question I can ask all of you. Guess what? And I'm going to show you something. All you blacks and Hispanics here, if it was clan men speaking, right? At a clan rally, you got the clan right here, that's right, white power, white power. And I guarantee you, it wouldn't be one black man standing there. You know why it wouldn't be one black man? Because what they talking about say, look, we got to mash your ass out. We got to mash you out now. 
Because this is what we're talking to our people, and it's all right. But you see our conditioning? We let them live. Because the first thing pop up in our mind, I could go to jail, son. I could get locked up. But you don't think like that when your brother comes in your face. You don't think like that when he bump you or looking at your woman. You ain't think about no jail. Look, what you trying to punk me, son? I tell you what. Every black and Hispanic man standing here with this bastard in front of you, you all been punked. You all been punked, man. So now, do as you will and as you wish when he goes down the block. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Look, he's walking away. Praise the most high. Praise the most high, man. Beat his ass. Look, he, look he's speeding off now. Look, the, the weed, the weed, the weed went off him. He's like, I, I, he, like, he got to get a six back there. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, that's the reality of it. Now, see, understand this. The white man is very ingenious. He recognized it's time to go. You see that? He recognized it. He had to leave. Wake up, Israel. Thus saith the Lord, man. And with that, we say death and destruction to all the nations, man, on this planet, man. And we say, Lord bless you all. Lord bless you all. In Ghana, it's time for me to clap again. It's time for us to conquer. My wolves are wide awake, my lions and piranhas. The Bible we do quote, but still bust them llamas. Let the freaking murder smoke fill a room like marijuana. I'm coming for they dope. Tell them devils I'm their karma. I is meant to be his prophecy. Listen. I ain't know what the goddamn devil to fight. The white man, the Arab man, the Arab man, the Arab woman, the Chinese man, the Japanese man, they all are dead devils, man. Don't you understand that? Because y'all don't know that the, the, the Chinese man had you in slavery. The Arab man had you in slavery. The Japanese man had you in slavery. The East Indian man had you in slavery. But y'all don't know about that. You only know about the white man. But we're gonna tell you about all of them. They all ain't no damn good, and they all gonna be put in chains for the the Lord. That's the Lord! You will be allowed to change the the Lord. That's the Lord. That's the the Lord, man. Let's get that out of the scriptures, man. Alright? Give me a strong reader. Come on, up y'all. Let's, get that, let's get, get that out of the scriptures, man. So this officer can see that he's gonna be by the hand of God. His fate is slavery, that's the Lord. And we want him to live. We want them around. We need all the slaves we can get, man. Okay? Give me Revelation 13, 9 and 10. See what the Most High said. The white man got a damn problem thinking that his blood is too pure and can't be shed. But the Most High is coming for the white man's blood. Man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Days are numbered. Your weak last days are numbered, old woman. You're numbered. Okay? You and that weak last old man. You're numbered. That's right. That's right. That's right. Give me Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Come on. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Come on. If any man have an ear, and you all got ears, so speak about your mind. Your understanding. Read. Let him hear. Come on. He that leadeth into captivity. The Most High said, he that leadeth into ca captivity. That's the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man, the Japanese man, and the list is endless, man. Okay? He said, he that leadeth into captivity. Read. Shall go, go into captivity. No, the white man's going to join hands with you. Shall go, go into captivity. No, the Most High's going to forgive him for putting us in slavery. Shall go into captivity. Now let's see what else. Read. Come on. He that killeth with the sword. And the sword is the modern day gun. That's how you got this land and every other land that you done put your stinking ass feet on. So the most I say, he that kill it with the sword, read, come on. Must be killed with the sword. No, shake the white man's head. Must be killed with the sword. That police officer's your friend. Must be killed with the sword. Who's waiting for this? Read, here is the place of the saints. That's who's waiting for that, man. That's what the saints are They waiting for that, man. That's who we waiting for. Look at that old Rick Glass right, right there, man. Now give up, get on the police officer. Police officer can't help you when the most house set a damn tornado through your damn house. Yes, 
Right, right. He can't help you when a hurricane come. He can't help you, man. You see, I, what's the matter? I said something wrong? Did I say something about the white man? Huh? See, that's how people grow up. You get the most scary ass looks, but the white man got his foot so far up your ass, you can't even think straight. You don't even know who you are, hell you are. That's right. You don't respect yourself or your people, man. You don't even respect the plight of your people. Yeah, I'm talking to you, brother. See, that's Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, brother. Let me ask you a question. Speak French. Huh? Speak French. Probably what I say. Yeah. Oh, they got to speak that, right? All right, got your goddamn soul. Yes. Now y'all want to leave. Now you want to leave? Come here. Come here. Okay, talk to him. Talk to him. Vini, Vini, Vini. Vini, Vini, Vini. Vini,
Hey, you gotta talk to him. Hey, don't worry about that. That officer gotta do his job. We don't need to talk to the officer. You know that bastard right there. He wants his ice knocked over, and it will get knocked over. That's right. What you got, man? Come on, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Come on, read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Most High said that we are holy people unto him, man. He right. are. Come on. The Lord thy God has, has chosen thee. So just like you chose the outfit you got on, God created every man on this earth. But he said he chose a special people, man. Read. Come on. To be a special people. people. Come on. Unto himself. Unto himself. Let's see. Come on. Read. Above all people. people. No man is created equal. Above all Keep walking if it's edible. 
Keep walking. He was asking. Keep walking, man. I just told you it wasn't, it wasn't, it's not wrong. If I say it's not wrong, that means it's not it. I am a God. We are all God's opinion. But so into the body. No, there is a difference. There is a difference, man. You're just simple, man. You're simple, you're a simple, you're a simple American Negro. African American Negro. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because he disagrees. That's right. Because this is the truth up here, man. This is the truth. We got the whole truth, man. You know how the white man says I want the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Well, this is the truth right here. That's right. It's either you get with it or not. We're not here to convince you nothing. Every father has a truth. That's right. And if you mad because we rough, so be it, man. Don't you know what Don't you know what Paul was rough? Don't you know the Lord was rough when they spoke, rise broke out? Right. See, we might have a misconception on how the Lord who you ain't call Jesus Christ was, man. Right. So, 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 and so, so is that. So, I'm to listen. So, instead of you opening your mouth, just listen. The scriptures say that, man. You in the, you, you're in the house of God right now. You in the house of God. So, you, you, it will be you to be quiet, man. I got you. Jew and you a so-called white man, you're the biggest devil on the planet. That's right. Uh, 
us, and we can prove it out of the Bible. The most I made you the chief out of these devils. Give me Revelation. Uh, give me that, brother. This is the uh, book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy work and tribulation and poverty. Right, this is the Heavenly Father speaking. He says he knows our work, tribulation, and poverty. And if you know anything about the so-called Jew or the Jewish people today, they don't have no tribulation. They own Hollywood Boulevard, if you didn't know that. They own America, lock, stock, and barrel. If you didn't know that, so they not seeing no tribulation or no or no uh read it again, brother. I know thy work and tribulation and poverty. They don't see no poverty or tribulation. Right. When these so-called Jews get it, they go to court, they get acquitted. Because they own everything in America. The real Jews are the ones in tribulation and poverty. The real Jews are in the ghettos and in the slums. That's why the Heavenly Father said that. I know that works tribulation and poverty. Read. But thou art rich. But we are rich. Why? Because we got the kingdom of heaven coming to us. It was promised to us. It was promised to our father Abraham, then to Isaac, then to Jacob, and the right. on, twelve, on the twelve sons of Jacob. That's right. Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. That's a blasphemy for them people to be calling themselves Jews. The Heavenly Father knows this. That's blasphemy. <laughs> Go ahead. And are not. What right. are the synagogues of Satan? What are the synagogues of Satan? The chief house of Satan. The chief seat of Satan. Is these so-called Jews. Don't you know the so-called Jews funded the damn slave trade? They bought all the ships. They funded that. They funded Christopher Columbus to come over here and take down the Latins and the Native Americans. They funded that. So they are the synagogue of Satan. The Bible is not a lie. This is the word of the Heavenly Father, man.